I want it to be real between us again. I really do. I know. I know you've been trying to understand what I did, to get past what I did. And I'm almost there. I'm really looking forward to getting rid of all that evidence. Yeah, me too. It'd be nice not to have a cloud hanging over my head, over us. Right. Sounds incredible. You know, um, there is an upside to all of this. What's that? Well, it gives us a truly momentous occasion to look forward to. The day we reaffirm our commitment to each other. As husband and wife. Okay, what if Greenlee breaks free of David and comes looking for you? Greenlee knows where we stand, okay? She's the one who made it clear to me our time has passed. Once we get her away from David, then we just, we just part ways. That sounds very formal, part ways. Well, it's the truth. It's reality. It's what's going to happen. All right, and if David doesn't let go? We make him. How are we going to do that? Okay, you know what? First of all, you're not part of the we. And I'm saying that out of love, okay? I really appreciate all, all of your help here, but you, you don't need to get any more involved in this, okay? Does Zach even know about any of this? I want to help, all right? Playing lookout isn't exactly dangerous work. Thank you. Sticking by me through all this. Yeah, like you could keep me away. Oh, I'm totally interrupting, aren't I? No, no, not at all. I was actually just leaving. Wow, you look amazing. That's a gorgeous dress. Thank you. Okay, I will see you both tonight. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Wow. She's right, you look amazing. I especially like your choice in, in footwear. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> well, you remember what happened at Jake and Amanda's wedding? Yes, the case of the mismatched shoes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I kind of wanted to redeem myself with a pair of fantastic heels. Uh -huh. So I went shopping, but I couldn't decide, so I got four pairs. Totally maxed out my credit card. Obviously, I have to return three of the pairs, and to make a long story longer, I was just hoping that maybe you could help me pick out a pair. Sit down and take them off. Okay, let's do this one. Why do I get the feeling you're gonna pull out a glass slipper right now? No, no glass slippers. But my car does turn into a pumpkin at midnight. <laughs> You knew if I came back here that I'd settle in, didn't you? Well, I'm gonna do this thing because you wanted me to do it. And I will get your company back. I saved the kid, Pete. I got there in time. Not like before. I thank God every night I'm no longer alone in this. Because as frightening and as heavy as this is, it's only half of what I was carrying before. Well, at least then you had Jake. Jake's not you. I was so scared to be a burden, I didn't even realize how much I needed my husband. Well, he's right here and he's not going anywhere. Hey, I have an idea. What? Why don't we just skip the party? Stay here, order some food. Oh, I want to go, Jesse. Even if you can't see. No, this episode, it will pass just like the rest of them. But I thought you said this. No, episode. I know what I said. And there is a part of me that's still scared that my vision won't return, but I am sure that it will be back before the end of the night. Baby, you have got nothing to prove. Understand me? Yes, I do. David is already lining up my replacements. I mean, like I don't even exist anymore. I need to go to this party. And when he starts slinging the mud, the insults, the threats? I will straighten my back, hold your hand tight, and order you a stiff drink. 
I'm serious. Baby's not gonna make this easy for you. I know. The man wants me gone. And for a little while, he will have his wish, because I'll have to take a leave of absence. Have the baby learn how to cope. But it doesn't mean that I have to leave for good. And it certainly does not mean that I have to hand over my job to one of David's flunkies. Well, if you still can't see by the time we get there, it's gonna be questions. Well, everybody will just have to wait for answers because I'm not ready to go public with this. And sweetheart, hopefully we won't even have to worry about that. And you sure this is just gonna pass? Yes. And if it doesn't, so what? I've got you. To have and to hold. My start, my middle, my finish. Everything. Caleb! Emma, you're here to pick up Crystal. Well, she's just putting on the finishing touches. Please, come in. Very nice. Oh, well, thank you. Likewise. Why is he looking at you like that? He's not looking at you in any more special way at all. Just come on right in. Thank you. So, by all means, can I offer you anything? Maybe a cocktail, banjo, perhaps some raw meat. Uh, do we have a problem, Ted? It's Tad, but I'm sure you knew that. You do ever see a couple of warring roosters puffing up their chests? <laughs> no, actually, Ma, I haven't. But I'm just simply trying to, you know, welcome the man to my home. Mm. Mm. Yours and Crystal's home. Yeah, yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty much it. We uh, we share it. She is the mother of my child. Mm. Interesting arrangement. You're gonna bust my chops about my living arrangements after you've lived out in God only knows where for how long. Dad. I'm simply trying to get to know the man. Oh, well, I thought that was my job. Wow. Well, wow well, yourself. I certainly clean up nice. You ready to get this thing over with? Sweet talker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> See you there. See you there. <laughs> When's the last time you offered a woman your arm? You don't want to know. Did I do it wrong? Oh, you're doing just fine. <laughs> well, this is gonna be a real hoot. Which part? The part about watching you get all red and embarrassed. Ma, you could never embarrass me, you know that. <laughs> well, thanks, but I wasn't talking about me. I'm just thinking that uh, the way you were just behaving with Caleb, you might very well end up embarrassing yourself. Wow. I was about to say the same thing. All packed up and ready to go. You sure? You want me to make sure that the right shoe's in the right place? You got two of them. Ha, ha. You look so good in all of them. Why don't, why don't you just keep them all? Because uh, I have rent to pay. Consider them a gift. I love that you're offering. And trust me, the fusionista in me is screaming to take you up on it. <laughs> but look, I just, I've worked really hard to get myself out of debt, and I just want to be responsible. So you want to go? Yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, we don't have to. We no. can wait if you no, want. No, 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 I'm ready. I'm ready if, if you're ready. Yeah. I think uh, Greenland David will be there already? We're about to find out. You mind? Not at all. Thank you. You look breathtaking. You don't look so bad yourself. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. Used to what? A thrill I get when I walk into a room with you on my arm. We're gonna be late if I don't put the finishing touches on my makeup, like, right now. Fine with me. That way we get to make a big entrance. 
just the way I like it. Do you remember our first big entrance? I think everyone in this town remembers our wedding. Mm -hmm. Your life was so uncertain then. I mean, you barely out of a hospital bed, ready to get back at the world. And me, well, but there we were, embarking on this journey together, not sure where it would take us. Pretty crazy. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. Everybody, don't they read the invitation? Oh, Why on, bother putting nobody time on Nobody shows up to these things on time. Oh, that's rude. You never hosted one? Mm -hmm. All right, just just take a deep breath. You'll you'll make some small talk. You'll take a few pictures, and uh, then you can get back to railing against all the phonies in this town. They are phonies. Oh yeah, of course they are. You're humoring me. Yes. Don't stop. <laughs> You know, I think you're right after all. Hello, Brian. Really? Madison? Hi. You're late. But you're less late than the others, so welcome and cheers. All right. Cheers. <laughs> You okay? Yeah, just stay close. I'm right here. I'm going anywhere. Hey, you two. Hey, whoa. Look at you. Welcome. Crystal, Thank Caleb. You. Thanks for the invite. Uh, Angie, you want to go somewhere and, and talk? Oh, thanks. Caleb knows about my condition. He does? Yeah, I was with him yesterday when I had an episode. Um, I happened to be at Wild when I smell smoke. Miranda was upstairs, and luckily, Caleb got to her. She had breathed in a, a fair amount. I, I, how come I don't know about this? Well, she's fine now, thanks to Caleb, who ran upstairs and got her. Caleb? Right here. So I, I want to thank you again. If you hadn't been there... I know, Paul. Come on. You not only saved the little girl's life, you might have saved my wife's career. She's thinking about throwing in the towel, convinced she couldn't practice medicine anymore. Well, why would you do that? I don't know. The world needs good doctors. 